Um, obviously reviewing the game, uh, disappointing. Um, you know, obviously could have done some things better there. Um, you know, but the one thing about our football team is there's no quitting these guys and they keep fighting. Um, so we'll get ready for this week, get ready for the Jets, uh, be ready to roll. James. Shane, will Joe start against the Jets? Joe will be the starter for the Jets, yes. And then to follow up, I know you talked about um, his veteran leadership, things like that. Um, I'm just curious to know, optically, like how do you explain the Anthony decision, the Joe Flacco decision, when it's looked as bad the last two weeks, and I, you know, you're you're sticking with this guy? Yeah, no, I understand the question. Um, Joe's a veteran guy, like I've said. You know, he's had two games that he'd want back. Um, but again, you know, he goes out there. Um, throw some good passes. Obviously, the interceptions, there's, you know, three of those. Um, you know, there's two that he'd want back. Um, again, you just stick with it. You grind through the, the process of this whole thing, man. It's it, it really is a process. So we're going through that process right now, and right now Joe's still our guy. Jake? Yeah, so obviously no one – no one wants to be losing, obviously, but with this move being made to win games and, and it's this clunky, what do you feel like you guys are are getting out of this without having, you know, your young developmental quarterback out there? Yeah, no, it's a great question, Jake. I, I understand it. Um, I still think we're in the thick of it right now um, with our record and stuff, and it's not over yet. So obviously we got a great opportunity uh, this week against the Jets, and we got to have a great week of preparation, uh, and we go from there. Nate? Hey, Shane, I um, feel like we should address some of what uh, your captains had to say yesterday. Uh, I'm sure you saw the comments, Kenny Moore and, and Zaire Franklin talking about how they feel like uh, the preparation, the work ethic, the focus for the practice hasn't been good enough. Um, just where do you stand on that? Do you feel like, did you see the things that they're seeing? Is this something that, that you address with them or how do you kind of handle this situation? Yeah, we had a meeting this morning uh, with those guys. I think anytime you lose, right, it's frustrating, especially three in a row games that you could have won. Um, but I think the biggest thing is you learn from that. You're going to go through adversity in every football season. You are, you're going to have it some more than others. And we're going through some adversity right now, but you know, we get to decide how this thing ends. You know, we choose it as players and coaches uh, of going through the process and grinding through it. Uh, and getting ready for the Jets. And that's what we can control is is getting better every single day and getting ready for the Jets. And just one quick follow-up. I mean, from your perspective, do you feel like practices have been how you've wanted them to be? Do you feel like the work ethic is there? I and mean, were you surprised to hear what they had to say? Yeah, I think I think anytime you lose, right, you're always going to look at things, man. What what are the little things that we're not doing or doing or whatever it may be, right? And And I think it comes back to fundamentals and details. And making sure we're all over those, you know what I mean? It's practice with that urgency and purpose every single day so we can get done what we want to get done on Sundays. Because when you're falling short, you're always going to look at things, you know what I mean? Especially me as a coach. I'm going to look at the practice stuff and schedules and all that stuff and how we're practicing uh, to get it turned. Kevin? Shane, specifically, Kenny mentioned preparation. I know that's one of your core values. No when doubt. you hear that word specifically, does that bother you? Yeah, I mean, you want to prepare like crazy. Heck, yeah. I think that's one of the biggest things in this league is, you know, the separations and the preparation and and putting in the work, not only because everyone around the league is going to prepare, right? Everyone goes to meetings and everyone goes to practice, uh, but it's also on your free time, you know, doing what you need to do to get ready to play because there is the game within the game uh, that you got to go play. Obviously, it's the ultimate team game, but you got to win your one-on-one -on -one matchups. Um, but, yeah, the preparation piece is huge for sure. And then follow, following up that, you guys have struggled in short yardage with Joe. Um, is there a thought to put Anthony in there? What has kept you from using Anthony in a short yardage package? Yeah, I'm not, I won't get into the scheme stuff of it, but yeah, obviously he would, uh, he would help there. Bob? Shane, do you worry about your culture at this point? I don't because we got a lot of good guys. I really don't. I think any time, like I said, when you're going through adversity, right, it's how you're going to respond to it. You know what I mean? Last year we went through adversity. We were sitting at three and five, kind of in the same boat that we are now and found a way to get out of it. Um, and we kept battling through it. And I think if you keep the faith and you keep believing and you keep grinding through the process uh, and you got the right mindset about it, it it'll turn. It'll turn. Just, just to be clear, you met with your captains or did you meet with the, the entire team uh, earlier? Yeah, I, I, had a, I had a team meeting, team meeting today. Thank you. Yeah. James. Shane, um, and again, this is just to I guess, clear the air or get some understanding. Um, when we talked to you, we talked to AR, we talked to Cam Turner, 
Like no one will say specifically what Anthony needs to work on. Can you ex just explain like what he did or didn't do or must do, not do to improve? Because everything that we always hear is, oh, everything. Or he has to, like, can anybody be specific about this? Yeah, I think it's just consistent with the process. That's what it is. Just you got to go through the process uh, every single day. Um, and that's where it's at. You know what I mean? He's a great, great person, a uh, phenomenal human being. Uh, like I said, not ever losing faith or trust in him. Uh, we're going through a process right now. And, and that's where it's at. Can you explain the process? Like, has he been late? Has he not prepared the right way? Like, we hear those words and yeah. it, it, you can take it. And I'm just trying to understand not to put any words in your mouth or spin anything. Like, wh what does that mean? Yeah. Well, like I said, we're we're going through a process, James. That's it. Joel. Shane, do you welcome guys like Kenny and Zaire speaking up when they feel like they don't see? Say that uh, again. Do you, do you welcome it that, that Kenny and Zaire and, and Julian spoke up when they felt like they didn't see like stuff going exactly the way it needed to be going? Yeah, like I said, any anytime guys you're in, you're you, you lose three in a row, guys are going to be frustrated. You know what I mean? And those are our captains, and they all want to win, and everyone wants to win, and people want to see results, right? And uh, we want to see results just as bad as everybody else. Um, so we have an opportunity to go do that this week against the Jets. And uh, again, had a good team meeting, had good conversations with the players this morning. Uh, everything you guys have been talking about was addressed, uh, and we're going to go from there, and we're going to put in the work this week uh, to go to New York and win a football game. Couple more, Stephen. Hey Shane, um, you know, with with your offense, I mean, the, at times it's looked like maybe you know you could use a spark or something like that. Um, I think the, hypothetically, Anthony with his skill set, you know, he definitely has that ability to provide that. He is obviously a little more boomer bust than a veteran like Jen, like Jen. Um, Is there any validity to that line of thinking, and has that entered into your thinking at all? Yeah, you go through a process every single week, um, Stephen. You really do. Um, and right now we're sticking with Joe um, and Anthony's continued to grow. And uh, we'll go from there. Then we'll do last two. We'll do Nate and then Chap. And Shane, you mentioned that it's kind of happens whenever you lose three in a row. But um, last year you guys lost three in a row. And I don't remember hearing anybody come out and say there were preparation issues or effort issues. So I guess, can you explain kind of why you're not more alarmed? when it, things are being said this year that haven't been said before yeah I think right now I think we're looking at our team and getting everybody back and obviously we don't want to be four and six no one wants to be four and six um you know we got a good football team and uh we got to get it turned that's the that's the bottom line Nate last question from chap yeah coach just to be just to be clear the team meeting today don't you normally meet on Mondays or was this something different no we met on we meet on Mondays yep so this wasn't at you didn't call a team meeting. This was a team meeting you always have. Team meeting, yep. Okay, thank you. Actually, uh, one quick one, Shane. I know you said uh, with Joe, you're evaluating. There's been two games. Are you evaluating all four of the starts as well? I would assume, like, not to. Yeah, I mean, I mean shoot. I, yeah, when he went in there and played, obviously those other games, he had to step in there. You know, he played good football. Um, you know, and we got the faith that he can get that thing going like he was those other two games. Um, obviously, he'd love to have those. You know, last two games back, just like everyone would. Uh, and we're and we're and that's where we're at.